Hello and welcome. In today's video, I'll be demonstrating how to repurpose an old DVD drive from a laptop. With the advancement of modern technology, these optical drives have largely fallen out of use and are frequently discarded. However, rather than contributing to electronic waste, we can find innovative ways to reuse them effectively. Let's explore how we can breathe new life into this outdated hardware. Right here, I've got a voltage control circuit that lets me adjust the voltage to whatever level I need. The build quality of this circuit is quite impressive, and the cost is also very reasonable. Today, I'll be using it as a power supply unit for my laser cutting machine. For the sake of saving time, I've already taken out a DVD drive beforehand. Now let's take a look at what components we can salvage from this DVD drive. This part here is the optical pickup head, which contains the laser used to read data from the disc. Inside, there's a high-power laser diode. Today, we'll be reusing this laser. Please note that only DVD writer models contain lasers powerful enough for burning applications. Standard CD drives typically don't have lasers strong enough to burn materials. All right, let's take it apart and see what's inside. Here, we've got a small brushless motor, but we won't be needing that. What we're really interested in is the laser module. One very important step is to check whether the laser diode is still working or not. Next, I'll use a tiny convex lens to focus the laser beams into a parallel beam strong enough to cut through materials. Wow, everyone! Right now, I'm testing the laser diode using a power supply set to around 2 volts. As you can see, the light looks a bit weak, doesn't it? That's because I'm only running it at a low voltage for now. Since there's no cooling system installed yet, I have to keep the power low to prevent overheating. If I were to run it at full power without any heat dissipation, the diode would get extremely hot very quickly. Without proper cooling, it could burn out immediately. So it's really important to be careful with this part, guys. All right, everyone, that was pretty quick. So now, I've finished building this laser cutter. Up here, we have a charger module for a 16,850 Lee I don't battery, and down here is a power module that helps stabilize the voltage.
Okay, now I'm going to test the battery charging system. When the battery runs out, we just plug in the charger and recharge the battery, everyone. Alright guys, that wraps up my video on turning a DVD drive into a mini handheld laser cutter. What do you think about this project? Leave your comments down below and let me know. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next videos. Don't forget to subscribe and give me a like. Bye bye.